As if interviewing wasn't stressful enough, you've now been invited to a group interview. What does that mean, how is it different, and how are you going to stand out and succeed to get a job offer? Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do just that. Let's go. So first things first, what is a group interview? Now, a group interview is an interview where instead of just you and a hiring manager or you and a hiring team, you're going to be interviewing alongside a number of people who are interviewing for the exact same role. This typically happens when a company is looking to hire multiple people for the same position. So to streamline their hiring process, they do a group interview where they don't just interview one person at a time, but instead they interview a group of candidates so they can choose the best amongst them. In this video, I'm gonna give you three different do's, things that you should do during a group interview, and three things that you definitely should not do. And the first thing you need to do to succeed in a group interview is you need to make sure you are fully prepared. When you're interviewing next to several other people, it becomes painfully obvious when one candidate is ready to interview and another is just winging it. So in order to stand out and make the best possible impression, you wanna make sure you are fully prepared. Now, what does this entail? If I had to give you quick things that you should prepare for going into an interview, you should know about the company, you should know about what they do, either product or service, you should know about the position and your fit and alignment, and practice some of the standard interview questions you can expect to answer. Why are you interested in the job? Why are you a good fit for the job? Why did you leave your recent job? And then uh, questions that are applicable to the specific role that you're interviewing for. Additionally, you need to be prepared to sell yourself. Why are you a good fit for the role? What skills do you bring to the table? What is your differentiator? These are some things that you need to be ready for because it is going to be painfully obvious if you are not and the other people that you are interviewing alongside are. The next thing you need to do is have great questions to ask at the end of your interview. So when you reach the end of the, the interview, um, it is likely they'll say, okay, do you have any questions for me or do you have any questions for us? And it is absolutely going to happen in a group interview that some people will have questions. They'll have great questions to ask and some people, well, they won't have great questions. And that is going to be a significant differentiator. If you have great questions and the person next to you does not, you are going to stand out as a great candidate who clearly is both interested and prepared. The last thing that you need to do is be prepared to role play. It is very common, in fact, more common in group interviews that there is some sort of role play exercise. So if it's a customer service or a sales position, they're definitely going to do some sort of role play in which they are expecting you to help them as a customer or sell something or answer questions. So in a role playing uh, or in a uh, group interview, it is much more common to experience a role playing session. So be ready for that and practice it. Now, before we get to the don'ts, uh, if you were liking and finding value in this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you never miss one of my two to three videos I release every single week that are designed to help you land your dream job. Now, the first don't that I have here is do not talk over others. It is a very challenging environment to succeed within. They might ask questions and several people might try to answer at the same time. But if you come off as someone who is talking over someone and aggressive, they're going to pinpoint you as someone who wouldn't be a good teammate. Often yielding to others can be uh, a good way to make you seem like a great candidate. So if you start talking at the same time as someone else, say, oh, I'm sorry, my bad, go, go ahead. Doing that makes you seem polite and it makes you seem like a good teammate. Whereas if you were just to continue to talk over them, it's gonna make you seem like you might be a bad fit. The next thing that you wanna make sure you don't do is you don't wanna zone out while other people are talking. Now, this is really easy to do if you're doing it virtually. If you're in like a group video interview, other people are answering, you're looking down, clearly you're on your phone, or maybe you're looking to the side, or you're making facial reactions, like they say something you think is a bad answer and you go, you don't wanna do that because the people interviewing you, especially if there are multiple of them, they're going to pick up on that and they're gonna make it um, they're going to make judgments based on how you reacted there. They're going to think that you're someone who is rude, someone who might be a bad teammate. So make sure you're paying attention the entire time. When other people are answering, make sure you're smiling, make sure you're nodding, make sure you're showing that you're invested in the entirety of the process, not just when you're answering. The last thing you want to avoid doing is disagreeing with others. So sometimes you're asked uh, similar questions and someone will say something um, that you don't agree with. And then you'll get asked the same question. What you don't want to do is go, yeah, unlike this person, I think it's really important to do this. You don't want to come off as combative. You definitely want to avoid that. The reality is if they're hiring multiple people, they might hire other people in this group and they don't want to hire someone who they feel uh, will upset the apple cart. So again, the last two are very similar in the sense that you want to make sure that you're not being combative, but it is critical in a group interview setting to not do that. Now I talked a lot about not being combative, but there are also things that hiring managers are hoping they hear you say. 
So I want you to watch this video next because this video gives you nine different things that hiring managers are hoping to hear in an interview. If you can say some of these things, you are definitely going to increase the likelihood that they think you're an amazing candidate and you end up getting a job offer. So go watch this one now.